Well, it is the last day of the monsoon session, but fresh face-off is expected in both the houses today after Law Minister Arjun Ram Meghwal tabled the Chief Election Commissioner Bill in Rajya Sabha yesterday. Well, the Election Commissioner Bill aims to replace the Chief Justice of India with a Union Minister nominated by the Prime Minister. Now, in the new bill, the committee will comprise of the Prime Minister, the Leader of Opposition in the Lok Sabha and a Cabinet Minister nominated by the PM. Remember, in March, Remember, in March, the Apex Court had ruled that a three-member panel uh, chaired by the Prime Minister uh, will and the Leader of the Opposition in the Parliament and a Chief Justice of India will advise the President over the appointments uh, of the polling officials. Meanwhile, the Opposition has accused the Modi government of trying to turn the Election Commission into a partisan body. Now, uh, the opposition further said that they will oppose this bill. Now, this is uh, basically a procedure wherein uh, the centre is looking forward to comprise a committee that includes the Prime Minister, a leader of the opposition and a cabinet minister who is being chosen by the Prime Minister to uh, nominate and uh, carry out the uh, appointment process of the ele Chief Election Commissioner and the other election commissioners across the India. Now, the opposition has blatantly uh, refused and accused the Modi government's uh, bill uh, on the table and trying to turn, turn the election commission into a partisan body. Now, let's take a look at some of the pertinent uh, political reactions to this story. I haven't had a chance to look at the bill, but certainly it does seem to be rather unusual. Uh, we will have to see in what form we take it up and whether we object, because the fact is that the Chief Justice, his participation in the exercise was part of what guaranteed the independence uh, of the selection process. This is an anti-democratic thing. It is a step to capture the uh, election commission itself. They had, uh, they had changed that thing and made it as Prime Minister, Leader of Opposition and a Cabinet Minister, which means that the Law Minister or the Home Minister will be part of it, which, which will completely keep the Election Commission in, as a, a Department of BJP and this is, in, this is a step towards um, destabilizing the neutral institutions in India. The for, we oppose it and all, we, demand, we hope that all the democratic forces will unite to oppose this kind of move by the government of India and we will oppose in the parliament also when it is going to be tabled. Prajatantra ke itihas mein sansar mein aaj ek kala divas tha. Chunav ayog हिंदुस्तान में प्रजातांत्रिक और निष्पक्ष चुनाव करवाने वाली आखिरी इंडिपेंडेंट संस्था है मोदी जी उसे भी मोदी इलेक्शन कमीशन बनाना चाहते हैं चुनाव आयोग को अब मोदी चुनाव आयोग बनाने के लिए आज राज्यसभा में चुपचाप तरीके से the Chief Election Commissioner and other election commissioners applied to the conditions of service and terms of office bill. Well, um, this... Well, the central government has moved a bill to prescribe the manner of selecting the chief election commissioner and other election commissioners. Now, the central bill seeks to establish a committee of the Prime Minister, comprising of the Prime Minister, the Leader of Opposition and a Cabinet Minister who will be referred by the, uh, by the Prime Minister to decide and advise the President over the appointments of the polling officials. Now, joining me on the broadcast is my colleague Arunima. A very good morning, Arunima. What are the main provisions of the Centre's bill regarding the formation of this committee uh, for selecting the uh, uh, ECI members and officials? So you've just laid out uh, the selection process of uh, the CEC and how it is different from the past is that the Supreme Court in its recent judgment had said that it will be a panel of CJI, PM and LOP who will uh, select 
from a panel of other officers who the CEC should be following a pattern similar to the CBI director. Mm-hmm. Before that, it was only the government who would send in the recommendations, uh, and that that power is being snatched back by the government through this bill. If you hear the opposition members, they say that you know what the Supreme Court had suggested was to restore the independence of the Election Commission. Lately, Election Commission has been repeatedly questioned, accused of bias while conducting elections. Mm-hmm. Uh, the government says that if you read the Supreme Court judgment, there is provision in that judgment itself that the government can come up with a law, and that's exactly what they're doing. This has been introduced in Rajya Sabha, but in all likelihood, it will be taken up for consideration and passing only in the next session, considering it's the last day of uh, this monsoon session. And there are so many questions being asked. It requires detailed scrutiny, so the opposition could well ask that the bill be sent to the Standing Committee. All right, Arunima, help us understand what uh, will be the implications, namely, what will be the advantages and disadvantages of involving the Prime Minister and a leader of opposition in the Selection Committee? for the entire process of selection of ECI members? The Prime Minister was always there. I mean, he's the one who leads the country. He's the one who leads the government. So his he has always been part of the selection process, even before the Supreme Court order came in. The Supreme Court tried to restore the balance by bringing in two other, uh, you know, non-government members. One, the leader of opposition, and second, the Chief Justice of India. Um, but... More than that, the implication, if you see the bill, it says that uh, Cabinet Secretary and two other Secretaries of Government of India will create a panel of five. And overall stature of the CEC, once appointed, which is currently at the same level as a Supreme Court judge, will then become at the same level as a senior bureaucrat, as a secretary-level bureaucrat of Government of India. If that happens, uh, in the order of precedence, in the order of protocol, uh, will the CEC be below the cabinet secretary, below the home secretary. If that happens, can the uh, CEC really summon the home secretary before discussions uh, on elections happen? What will the pre- be the precedent? What will be the protocol order? All of that will also get affected, not just the way the CEC is appointed. And that's why the opposition is saying that the bill is, is not uh, you know, well thought out. Uh, it's a rushed bill that the government has brought in. That's the opposition's charge. All right, thank you so much, Arunima, for all those details. We'll continue to track the story as the day progresses.